to talk about a, 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 a peritoneal dialysis. So we might have a patient that comes in and they normally give themselves their own dialysis at home, but now they're being admitted for some reason and we don't have a bed ready for them and they need to be dialyzed. So we have a box in the educator office, CAPD, uh, and you can come and it has all the equipment in it that you could possibly need. It also has um, a book and the book has pictures in it to help to kind of make it dummy proof. All right. So the first thing you want to know is what kind of connector does the patient actually already have? There are two types. They can either have the blue connector, okay, or they have the red connector, okay? So we have the necessary equipment for either of those. So within the box, we have connectors that are red and connectors that are blue, all right? So if you have a patient with the red, then you're going to take this, connect this red one to the end of the, com that's com the tube that comes out of the patient, and connect that to the end of your transfer set from this side here, okay? If they have a blue connector, then you're going to take this blue connector and you're going to connect this to your patient, and then this gets connected to the transfer set, okay? So I'm just going to show you, you pull this off here, you pull this off here, and this off here, and again, it's male and female, so this goes to the patient, and then you have the connector set, okay, here. Now, this end here, you have to realize that it is, needs to remain sterile, all right? Um, if this part gets contaminated, then you can introduce infection into the patient's abdomen, which you don't want to do. So you want to make sure that you keep this connector sterile, okay? The next thing you want to do is you get your diacylate. The diacylate comes from SPD, and there's different concentrations. This one particularly is 2.5%. It also comes in 1.25% and 4.5% or something like that. So the physicians or the patient will know exactly what they need, okay? Now, once you get this from the pharmacy, you also, I mean, from the SPD, you want to get a, a K-pad, a heating pad of some sort, because really, this is going to be kind of cold going into the patient's belly. So you want to wrap this up in the K-pad and, and start to get it at least a little bit warmer than what it comes from the dungeon and SPD, okay? Then that goes up onto a, um, an IV pole, okay? Um, connect our tubing. First, you have to prime the tubing, okay? Now, in order to prime the tubing, there are these two, uh, uh, what they call frangibles, okay? So here is one, and another one is up here, okay? And we're going to want to break those so that um, the fluid can, go, can be primed into the tubing here, and then there's a way for it to come outflow from the patient, because this is going to connect to the patient down into the drainage bag. Okay, I'm not going to do that, but that's we're going to show that this is how we do it. We break this, and we break that. Once you get, to, once you have flow all the way through your tubing, then you're going to want to go ahead and clamp both of them. Okay, and in the box we have these clamps. Okay, so once that is done, you're going to go ahead and connect this to your patient. Okay, this remember is the sterile end. We're going to connect this from the patient to the tubing, okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain the patient's belly, all right? So in order to do that, we're going to twist this light blue, okay? And now it's open. You can see how it twists open and closed. So once that's open, you're going to go ahead and unclamp the drainage bag, and you're going to let this flow from the patient down into the, um, into the drainage bag, okay? It should be clear, pale, yellow, no sediment, okay? If it looks other than that, then you need to make sure that the patient's uh, nephrologist is aware of if it's something other than clear, pale, yellow, without sediment. And that's going to take probably 15 to 20 minutes. So once it's done completely draining, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to clamp that side, okay? And now you're going to um, re-instill re um, their diacylate. So you're going to go ahead and unclamp that side, and you're going to let that, this is approximately two liters, and that two liters is going to go ahead and flow into the patient. It's going to take about 15 minutes or so, okay? Once that's done, you go ahead and you're going to clamp it, okay? And then you can go ahead and disconnect the patient. Um, the, the, 
are, are tubing from the patient to, uh, to their normal uh, connections that they have, and then that is really all there is to the, this um, peritoneal dialysis. When you go to connect this to the patient, this is considered a sterile procedure, so you want to get a mask, okay? You want to put a mask on your patient as well, and uh, make sure that you wash your hands and you don gloves um, prior to connecting this to the patient, making sure that this particularly remains sterile, this tubing here. Now, once the patient is done, and this, okay, so this patient's going to be actually admitted up to the floor, then leave this connection altogether, okay? And within our tubing, we have, within our box, we have the